Howdy folks, Singing Toad here, and uh, this is going to be my first video of 2023. I took a bit of a holiday there, and I'm glad to be back making new videos, and I wanted to start the uh, first video of this year by making it an open tag. So, please enjoy this video that you're about to see, and Happy New Year! Howdy folks, Singing Toad here, and today I'm going to be doing an open tag video, and the question that I'm asking is, what is your favorite color and how many knives do you have in that same color? Let's get into it. So, before we get into it though, I'm just going to quickly mention, if you're going to participate, please choose any color aside from black. Got nothing against black, but all of us knife guys, we own dozens of black knives, okay? And if I included black in my list, this hour, this video would be an hour and a half long. So let's uh, let's do everything, anything except black. And if black truly is your favorite color, then uh, what's your second favorite color? <laughs> okay, um, because we all have dozens of black knives. Um, so let's let's go with uh, with different colors than that. But uh, anyway, uh, my favorite color is blue. So let's get into it. So within uh, no particular order here. I'm going to start with an EDC knife that I carry every single day, and that is the Victorinox Super Tinker. Now, of course, this knife does come uh, originally in red, um, and, and I think you can also get it in, in black as standard. Um, I did order these blue uh, scales uh, separately. These are the plus scales, which come with, you know, the blue uh, tipped uh, tweezers and the blue uh, toothpick. And it also comes with the ballpoint pen. Uh, and also, it, it includes, underneath the uh, Phillips driver, we have a little uh, pin. So just a quick review of the knife itself. It has a main blade. It has a small blade. As mentioned, it has the Phillips driver. It has a pair of scissors. It has the uh, can opener and flathead screwdriver. It, it has a larger flathead screwdriver and the cap lifter. Already mentioned the Phillips driver. Has an awl with a sewing eye and reamer uh, punch. It's kind of a 3-in-1 tool. And has the all-purpose hook. And of course, I already mentioned the scale tools. Uh, this guy is on a key smart little pocket clip thing, which makes it easy to have in your pocket um, with it staying right where you want it to. You can always find it right away. So that is the Victorinox Super Tinker, and of course with the custom blue handle scales. So, next one, Spyderco Delica. So this guy is in VG10. This is a, uh, a Japanese-made Spyderco. Of course, it's in the blue. This was my very first Spyderco knife. It was a gift from my wife years ago, and absolutely love this knife. Full flat ground, uh, mid lock, back lock, very good ergos. You know, Spydercos, as they say, were not made for the eye, but made for the hand. And you know, some people say that they're ugly and hideous, um, but I tell you what, when you put them in your hand, they just melt into your hand. So I agree with the statement fully. Um, you know, they're not exactly meant for the eye, but rather for the hand. And since us human beings have hands, uh, that's what you're using to handle your knife, uh, not your eyeballs. All right. Next one on the list. Hey, you guessed it. It's a Spyderco. Uh, Spyderco Tenacious. Uh, this is the Tenacious Lightweight. It is in S35 VN blade steel, uh, which is a significant uh, blade steel upgrade over the standard. Uh, I think it's... It's either 8CR or OS8, I forget what the standard blade steel is, the Tenacious. But of course, this is definitely a significant upgrade. Um, it is FRN handle scales. Um, you know, would it be better if, if these came in G10 that were blue or Micarta that were blue? That's that's entirely up to you. Up to you. Um, I'm not bothered by, by this material. In fact, I like it. It's very, very, very grippy. And, you know, being an outdoorsman... Uh, if my hands are slippery because I just handled, you know, a fish and I got fish slime all over my hands or I uh, am processing a wild game animal uh, and my hands are covered in entrails and blood, this is not going to slip out of my hands, you know, because it's very, very grippy. So, uh, but anyway, that is the Spyderco Tenacious 
and it is a liner lock. And this, by the way, is my main EDC knife that I carry, you know, in conjunction. These two are in my pockets 95% of the time. Uh, next guy, we have the Gerber flat iron, and this is in blue denim micarta. And this guy here has this, uh, I guess you want to call it like a, like a straight razor style blade, like, you know, the old school barber shop, you know, you see him flapping this across the leather and then he'd proceed to shave your face with it. Um, <laughs> not exactly sure if I'd want to try doing that myself. Um, I mean, this thing is crazy sharp, uh, but, uh. But yeah, this is a funky knife, blue uh, denim micarta. Um, this is in D2, highly polished. Uh, D2 is a type of stainless steel. It barely qualifies as stainless steel, um, but uh, still, nevertheless, it holds an edge really, really well. And I mean, <laughs> this thing is just, it's a cool knife. What can I say? You know, not too many people carry knives like this around in their pocket. You know, everyone has something like what I just showed before, the, the Spyderco or, or a Benchmade or something. You whip out something like this uh, around your knife friends and you'll be like, ooh, ah, check that out. So that's kind of, kind of interesting and neat and fun. And this, of course, is a frame lock. Alrighty. Moving along, we have the Kubi Drake. And this guy here is in um, OS 10. I believe it tells me that somewhere on the blade here. Yeah, right there it says it, OS 10. So this is uh, with G10 handle scales. I actually really like the color of this. It reminds me a lot. You know, Spyderco Delica is maybe just a shade darker, but I really do like the uh, the color of this blue. It's, it's, it's kind of a sky blue. But I tell you what, this thing just feels great in the hand. Full flat, well, not quite full, but almost full flat ground. Very razor sharp. Excellent ergonomics. You know, whether you hold the knife like so or you choke up here. I mean, whoever uh, whoever designed this knife, uh, which is um, Max, and I'm not going to try and pronounce his last name because I don't want to insult the fellow. Uh, he's a Ukrainian knife designer and mad respect to the Ukrainians right now. Uh, you're fighting a hard fight. Uh, all all the power to you. Keep keep going. We're we're all we're all rooting for you. Um, but uh, but yeah, I don't want to insult this fellow by by mispronouncing uh, his name. But uh, I tell you what, uh, him and I must him and I must have the exact same size of hands because this fits my hands perfectly. <laughs> it's like this knife was made for me. He's like, hey, I'm gonna make a knife that Singing Toad's gonna like. Well, here you go. There is that knife. Beautiful. And of course, that is a liner lock as well. And look at the drop shut action on that. Isn't that amazing? Okay, moving along. We have the CRKT uh, Minimalist. And of course, this guy is in uh, is in, in the blue. Uh, it's in the uh, the OS 8 uh, blade steel. I believe it's OS 8 uh, blade steel. And of course, this is the Cthulhu or Chihulu or however you pronounce that edition with the... Uh, the, you know, the sea monster here on, on the blade, glow in the dark, uh, handle scales, little neck knife, very, very cool, fits the hand nicely, little knife, but a lot of knife for a little knife, I tell you what. Now, that is the end of my uh, True Blue series, however, I do have a couple honorable mentions I want to chuck in, and that is this guy here, this is the Rough Rider Barlow, and this is a traditional slip joint style knife, it has uh, uh, the... Um, I can't remember if that's micarta or if it's uh, G10, but it is in uh, carbon steel uh, blades. Very, very nice. But why this guy is on the list is because he does have blue liners. So I don't know how well the camera will show it, but there is blue G10 liners that run all along both sides. So that is getting an honorable mention. I do apologize if you're hearing some background noise. My uh, young lad is uh, watching a TV show or something off in the background. I hope YouTube doesn't pick that up and give me a copyright strike because that is not my intended thing to do. Uh, last but not least is this guy here. This is the uh, Benchmade Griptilian. And again, getting an honorable mention because he's got blue uh, liners as well. Standard uh, gray G10 handle scales. Obviously, this guy is, you know, the... Uh, axis lock. This is in 20 CV blade steel. 
excellent excellent knife and uh, and I really really do like this one as well so anyway folks that's the challenge what's your favorite color how many knives do you own in that color I'd like to hear about them if you don't want to make a video just list them down below in the comments you can tell me about them but like I said please try and stay away from from black because we all have a ton of black knives let's 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 try and do a color that's not black uh, like I said if black truly is your favorite color then so be it but I would really like to see the uh, you know some some color out there uh, show show me your colors if, if I can say that okay uh, and this is all meant in fun uh, you know folks here uh, so please enjoy I'd like to uh, see, see your, res your, uh, uh, your responses and hear about it down in the comments. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Thanks very much for watching. This is Singing Toad, signing out.